the former head of Rupert Murdoch's News International has come out swinging after being charged with perverting the course of justice in Britain's phone hacking scandal. In an angry public appearance, Rebecca Brooks said she was baffled by the charges. Her husband, who's also charged, accused prosecutors of a witch hunt. Lisa Miller reports from London. From high-profile media executive to suspect, Rebecca Brooks fronted a London police station to be formally charged, chased by the kind of photographers she once employed. They can't get out. Hours later, she and her husband could barely contain their anger at this latest development. People will see today as nothing more than an expensive sideshow, a waste of public money, as a result of an unjust and weak decision. Charlie Brooks went further. I feel today is an attempt to use me and others as scapegoats, the effect of which will be to ratchet up the pressure on my wife, who I also believe is a subject of a witch hunt. I understand and need and know that there needs to be a proper and thorough investigation. And I am baffled by the decision to charge me today. It was last July, during the peak of the phone hacking scandal, that prosecutors alleged the 43-year-old conspired to hide documents and computers and to move seven boxes from the archives at News International. Her husband, personal assistant, driver and two security consultants have also been charged. I have concluded that in relation to all suspects except the seventh, there is sufficient evidence for there to be a realistic prospect of, conclusion, of conviction. All six of those charged will face court on June the 13th. The maximum penalty is life in prison, although in reality the average sentence served is much less than that. For Rebecca and Charlie Brooks, though, the damage is already done to their reputations and powerful friendships. Lisa Miller, ABC News, London.